I just got this package with a couple new accessories for my 2017 Toyota 4Runner. Let's open up the box and take a look at what we got. All right, it's the moment of truth. What do we got? Rhino USA. You'll see we've got three boxes in here. Shackle hitch receiver. We've got the ultimate recovery toe strap. And we got a 5 8 inch hitch pin. So we'll start off with the hitch receiver here. Open that up. Got a cool sticker. And there she is. It's a beauty. Highly recommend these guys. Um, this is so handy for your vehicle. Uh, not only from just a practicality standpoint, we had a snowstorm a couple weeks back and I've actually got the same setup in my Tacoma and I kept moving it between the two vehicles every time I went out. So I thought I need to have a setup in both vehicles. Super nice having a hitch recovery point here, either if you get stuck or to pull somebody else out um, that's all just ready to go. The other thing I really like about it is that a lot of people will put some sort of like a hitch cover plate over this just because they're kind of ugly. You'll see that it gets kind of rusty. With this, it's a dual purpose. So it's, you know, hiding all of that rust, but then it's also adding some practicality um, because now you've got that recovery point that's ready to go. So really like that. This runs you um, about $30. I'll put a link in the description below. You can either get all of this stuff off Amazon Prime or off of their website. Because it's $30, you don't want anyone stealing it. That's where the hitch pin comes in. So open this guy up. And inside, we've got a locking hitch pin. So you'll see it's got some keys and then it just inserts through the side here, locks it into place so nobody can steal from you. So I figured that's a must have so nobody takes it. This guy ran about $16, $17. Again, I'll put a link in the description below. And then of course, neither of these do you any good unless you've got a recovery toe strap. And as it says, it's the ultimate toe strap. This thing's got a brake strength of like 40,000 pounds. It's pretty insane. And you get another cool sticker. So pull it out, you'll see it's pretty heavy duty. Um, it's got kind of like an elasticity to it. And so when you're pulling the vehicle out, um, you never want to use like a chain because that can break. It holds all of that, um, you know, force in it. With something like this, that's a little bit flexible, um, you actually start to pull and then it builds up that energy inside and then it kind of snaps. So it makes it a lot more effective. Uh, you'll see that it also looks really nice. And then you see that it comes with this little strap here that you can use once we pull off this plastic to keep it all held together. So we'll pull that off, give you a quick look at the inside here. There's that brake strength information. So maximum load looks like working load of 10,663 and then that max brake strength is 31,518, so that's a little bit off, but still it's gonna be more than enough for any towing that we'll be doing with the 4Runner. And then you'll see we've also got this cool little baggie that you can put this inside of, and then if you got some other shackles, you can put those in here as well. They have a lot of other cool products on their website, not only recovery gear, but, but some other uh, useful things too, like tie down straps. Um, I've already got, again, that set up for my Tacoma, and so I've got a D-ring shackle that I'll be putting in this baggie with this setup, and then I'll be keeping one in the Tacoma as well. Here's a look at the receiver with the hitch pin in place. You also see that I've got this little plastic isolator on the shackle. I had that for my Tacoma setup, so I figured I'd install that one on the vehicle. And then the new shackle that I just got will go in this little baggie with the toe strap. See, I've got the little storage strap in place. And then keys will go up front in case we ever need to get the hitch pin off. And then I figured, show you side by side with the Tacoma, they now match. Same toe strap, same receiver shackle here, except I've got this ghetto locking hitch pin that I already had with the Tacoma. Rhino USA wasn't making them at that point, but there they are side by side. So that's the new recovery gear setup for my 2017 Toyota 4Runner. I highly recommend that you have a setup like this for every vehicle that you take off-roading or out in the snow. 
really handy in case you get stuck, and also nice if you wanna be able to help out somebody else. I am particularly fond of this Rhino USA setup, really high quality. I liked it enough on my Tacoma that I wouldn't have considered anything else for the 4Runner. Again, I'll put links in the description below if you wanna check it out. If you have any comments or questions, leave those in the section below as well. For more videos of the fifth generation 4Runner, be sure to subscribe. In the meantime, thanks for watching.